Welcome to our first video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to completely remove your graphics card drivers using Driver Sweeper and CCleaner. Now, why this is important is because we often get asked, why when I install a new graphics card, am I not getting the performance level I should? Or why am I running into com compatibility issues with video games? And even why is my system crashing right after I installed a new graphics card? Uh, what the problem usually comes down to is the drivers. Um, when you do an uninstallation of AMD and NVIDIA drivers, there's still some residual drivers left in the registry. And installing new drivers on top of these can be uh, what causes the conflict. So what you're going to want to do to completely remove them is come down to the Start button, Control Panel, and go to Uninstall a Program. Now, of course, we're using Windows 7, but uh, it's the same process in Windows 8 and XP. All right, so now you'll want to find AMD Catalyst Install Manager. Double click on that and start the uninstall process. And we're going to want to do express uninstall because uh, if you do custom, you can pick and choose which drivers you want to eliminate, but we just want to wipe everything out. All right, so you're going to let this run, and depending on your system, it can take anywhere from one to four or five minutes. Uh, usually not five, but um, seeing as we have a pretty high-end system, it should go relatively quick. Okay, now that's finished. So you're going to hit the Finish button, uh, Finish again, and that will ask you to restart, and that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so now we've restarted our system and we are done with the first step of uninstalling the driver. So the next step you'll want to do is open CCleaner. And this is only a step you'll do for AMD graphics card. NVIDIA does not have this problem. Uh, when you uninstall NVIDIA cards, that's it. You just run driver sweeper and everything's gone. With AMD, however, it's you can see that it's still listed in the uninstallation um, list. So what you'll want to do is click it in CCleaner and hit run uninstaller and now you'll want to run driver sweeper now as you can see the driver sweeper uh, doesn't just get rid of graphics card drivers um, you can also do chipset printer usb there are a lot of options um, that you can choose from but we're doing our display so we're going to hit amd display but we have had an NVIDIA graphics card in the system, so we're going to select that one as well. You hit Analyze, and you can see how many drivers are still left in the registry. And this is where the conflicts come from. So what you want to do is clean this, and again you'll have Reboot. Okay, so we've rebooted again, and now it's time to install the new driver. We've completely wiped out the old graphics driver uh, using both CCleaner and uh, Driver Sweeper for AMD graphics card. And now it's time to install the new driver. So just go to wherever you have the driver installed in your computer. And we'll be using the Catalyst 13.3 Beta 2 driver. So you'll double click on that. And we're going to go through the traditional installation process. Okay, you'll just want to hit next, install, express, because an AMD graphics card doesn't have too much junk in the, loaded into the drivers. Uh, if you do want to do custom, though, that'll let you pick and choose what drivers and um, software you install with the graphics card. So just hit next, accept the terms, and it'll run through. Could take a minute or two. Um, but as this is going through, we'll just go through what we did. Uh, first, we uninstalled the driver uh, using the traditional Windows uninstaller. Uh, second, for AMD graphics cards, you want to go into cleaner and just want to completely make sure that the driver is removed and then run the registry option in CCleaner. And then next, you're going to want to use Driver Sweeper. And as the list showed with Driver Sweeper, there are a lot of residual drivers left over in the registry that you're going to want to get rid of. Um, after that, you're going to be required to reboot 
and upon the time that you reboot you're going to come back in and you'll be able to install the graphics driver uh, there'll be no conflicts you'll get the performance that's right for the card and everything will be ready to go that's about it thank you so much for watching our first video tutorial